Hello, wonderful family. Welcome back to our channel. Thank you for always stopping by. In today's video, I want to share with us how you can destroy your enemies permanently. Yes, when I mean permanently, I mean it permanently. But in case you're tuning in for the first time, you're highly welcome to this wonderful channel. Kindly hit the red subscribe button to make yourself a full member of this family. Like my videos share my videos and if you're a returning subscriber thank you i really appreciate may god almighty continue to bless you in all you do and i say amen to that prayer so without wasting much of our time please if you know you are not innocent or you are evil or you've done so many things or you've done something evil to another person please do not try this recipe the the repercussion is high okay so but if you know that you're innocent your hands are clean people are always against you people are always fighting you people are always the one looking for your trouble they want to see you dead they keep fighting you they keep taking what belongs to you because you don't have the spiritual powers to fight back you don't have the monetary powers to fight back you don't have the connection to fight back this video is for you by the grace of God, those people that feel that they are strong, they have the spiritual connections, they have the physical connections, they have the monetary connections to deal with you, they will run away. If at all, they will be alive to run. Yes, whatever you speak on this recipe I'm going to share with us is what is, what is going to happen to that evil man or that evil woman that is after your life and destiny. There are some of us who are very innocent but because we don't have the strength the physical strength and spiritual strength to fight then the, the people that feel they have all the powers will keep tormenting us they will keep collecting what belongs to us they will come to the village and take your land because you don't have the strength to fight them they will come and take what belongs they will come and even collect your wife or your husband from you because you don't have the strength to fight them they will come and collect what actually belongs to you because you don't have powers you don't have connections all you need to do for me please do not be scared get a stand if it's in your village maybe you have an evil uncle that wants to collect all your properties or that have collected your properties or you have an elder brother or elder sister who has collected everything that that belongs to you because he or she feels he's an occultic person he's a winch he's this he's that you cannot fight him get a sand from that compound where both of you were born this is sand okay yes this is sand i want to use this one to do work for somebody this is sand you are going to put the sand in your two hands yes you have to put it in your two palms okay then begin to pray call on your forefathers call if you don't know their names say every member of this family that knows that this land belongs to me or this property belongs to me, whether dead or alive, that have refused to talk or because you are afraid of any this person that is, you know, that wants to intimidate me. Or if you don't know the person or you feel that your glory has been tampered with and maybe you're, you're suspecting somebody from that family. Say so any man, any woman that is after my life, that is responsible for the, for the predicament I'm facing today, some of us have started projects in the village, but because of these evil people, they go and do something on that project. You cannot have money again to complete it. Just pack the sand from your compound, begin to speak anywhere you are, anywhere you've gone to do evil charm, to destroy my destiny, to make me not to be financially stable, to make me not to be you know, responsible, to make me to be drinking from one bear pallet to another, from one joint to another carrying going after women doing things that are irresponsible that i'm here today to set myself free and return every evil plans to you had towards me back to you if you wish me good good will follow you if you wish me but any member of this family that wish me good will see goodness all through his life or her life any member of this family that wish me bad will see badness or evil all through his or her life if you want the person dead, you can say it, but I don't even pray for my enemies to die. They will live and see the glory of God in my life. Okay, they will see God prepare that promised land, that table, Psalm 23, verse 5. In, in, the, in the presence of my enemies, that God will prepare a table before them. So if they are dead, God will never, that table, they will not live to witness you enjoying on that table. 
So let them be alive, but useless. They will be alive and powerless so that they cannot harm me again. So every evil woman, every evil man in this family that want to see me dead, I return every if all your wishes back to you. If you wish me good, you will see goodness. If you wish me bad, I return it. Just say your prayers the way you want it. After that, you spit on the sand, on the one on your right hand, on the one on your left hand, then you throw it up like this and go back to your house. Do this either by 3 a.m., 12 midnight, or 6 a.m. in the morning. These are the three times you can do it. Either do it 6 a.m. in the morning, or 12 midnight or 3 a.m. Choose any of this time that is convenient for you and do it. Then if you live in a compound and maybe people, people keep tormenting you because maybe you're, you're not rich or things are not working well for you and they keep mocking you, they keep humiliating you, they keep frustrating you, you can equally do this. Pack sand from that compound and do it. If maybe where you live is tight, there's no sand, go outside, pack sand. Say that as long as you pass from this road and you are living in this compound, you are responsible for the witchcraft attack I've been getting. You are responsible for my setback. You are responsible for the problem I'm having with the landlord or whatever. Just say the things you are facing in that particular compound. Do the same thing. Spit out on the sand and throw it away. And watch that person. And watch what will happen to that person. Even in your place of work. Yes. If the place is tied, you cannot get sand. Just pack sand that leads to that place in your work okay you can do this in your house just pack the sand come anywhere and do it after saying the prayer throw the sand anywhere and go your way if you don't live in the village you can pack sand from anywhere just let just tell god that this sand represents the one from your father that father's compound that you cannot go there because of distance that the people that you know that uh, that is born in that family call your family name they, if you change surname, don't use that your immediate surname. Use the surname they know your family with. You have an ancient family name. Use that one, not the one you changed. That's also family. If you know your forefather's surname, call them. Let their spirit come and witness you. Let their spirit come and fight for you. Invoke the spirit of God. Invoke the spirit of your ancestors and watch them destroy every man and every woman after your life. Even in your place of business, you can equally do this. Maybe somebody drop a charm that is only him that will be selling around there. Just do this recipe. Pack some from in front of your shop. Declare words. I say any man, any woman that have planted, that have covered my shop, that make it look bushy. Like people will keep passing to buy some from you. Even when they don't have, they will not enter my shop to buy what I have. They will go to another place. That, that your charm will be destroyed today. The way you covered my shop, that is how God is going to cover your own. No man, no woman will see your shop. My own will be the only shop. After doing that, spit on it and throw it away. My brothers and my sisters, this is very powerful. As I said and I, as I warned, if your hands are not clean, please do not do it. Or you feel that somebody killed your loved one. Just pack sand. Don't go to the grave. I don't fashion that one. Pack sand from the compound. Say anything. Say if you are sure that somebody, maybe you're suspecting somebody. Declare these words that whoever that killed my brother, left wherever you are, you will never have peace until you confess or until you join him or her. This is very simple. Do it and watch how God is going to fight for you. Okay? Yes, this is a very secret thing I want to share with us. Very simple but very powerful. Try it and watch how God is going to fight and destroy all your enemies. Share this video, please, to your loved ones. You'll be saving lives. I've come to the end of today's video. Thank you for watching and see you in my next video. Bye-bye.